So I want to give an update on the on the shooter incident on I-75 over in Laurel County. Uh, they opened the highway last night at 9 o'clock. The shooter shot five people. As far as I know, there's been no fatalities out of that. But uh, there was a story that I heard this morning that I want to share with you all that out of all this stupidity, it really just warmed my heart. There was a school bus on the road at the time this was happening from Harlan, Kentucky. And truck drivers knew what was going on. And they surrounded that bus, shielded that bus with their trucks to protect those children. As a father and as a truck driver, massive respect to those drivers. If I had been there, I'd have done the exact same thing. I'd have been right there with my brothers protecting those children. And, I, I, man, I hope that those particular drivers that we get to know who they were, I would love to know that. Uh, there's been a lot of men and women I've met over the years, drivers, that I have a lot of respect for, are really good people. But this in particular, there's been a lot of things. There's been a lot of, a lot of, lot of good stories about truck drivers that have went above and beyond and done things for people they didn't have to. But this one, they put themselves in harm's way to protect those children. We need to know who these drivers were. Anybody that finds out anything about who these people were, reach out to me and let me know. They have my ultimate, absolute respect. You guys stay safe. Have a good day. I hear anything else about the shooter, I'll let you all know. As of right now, he has not been found. He is military trained. I don't know what his MOS was, but obviously he, he knows what he's doing as far as, you know, escaping. So anyway, it's an ongoing thing. If I hear something other else, I'll let you all know. You all stay safe. Have a good day. Anybody has an update about who these drivers were, let me know.